I don't know really what to say, except that uh, in 2013, 2013, I lost my wife Claire and her stepdaughter Bess in a plane crash in Kenya, in the Abadir Mountains, at a little before five o'clock in the evening. They were scheduled to get on a plane and fly to Greece that night and I was in Utah packing, getting ready to join them there. I think we've all lost people that are close to us and uh, it's a unique for each of us, it's, there's no formula for it. Um, but the unusual thing for me was when I went to Kenya, a man found me where I was staying and he came up to me to say he was the helicopter pilot that had investigate, taken help take the bodies out of the crash site. And he said to me, I will take you there and it might do you some good to have some closure to know where they were last touched the earth. He said, soldiers get on planes, pilots get in planes and fly them, and they all know they could die. That's part of the daily routine. But Claire and Bess didn't know that. They were tourists, and he felt that it was such a tragedy that they had died, along with the pilot of the plane, Harrow. And uh, he flew me to the crash site where we landed and spent two hours where I walked around and picked up things that belonged to Claire and belonged to Bess. Except I could not pick up her MacBook Pro, it's a rather large portable computer, but it was folded back on itself like it was a piece of wet clay. I couldn't touch it. But I found some honey, honey that Claire was bringing back that uh, came from three hives that we owned <laughs> in uh, northern Lycipia, a hollowed out <clears throat> bamboo where the bees go in and make their hive and then they take the honey from that. It's very dark and rich. And I still have a little bit of it today. But I went through that whole process and have written about it in the book that's going to come out in a year called When It's Dark Enough, You Can See the Stars. Um, what happened also at that time was I got a text from Claire. It was early in the morning here in Utah and what she said in her text was pure Claire and it took me a week to understand that she'd sent it 10 minutes before the plane crashed. Did she know it was going to crash? Did she think they were going to get through it? I don't know. But this is what the text said. I feel free. I feel close to God. And there are angels all around me. <laughs> 